Right, good afternoon everybody. Thank you very much for joining me and welcome to a tutorial and playthrough of Terracotta Army. This is a new game coming from Board and Dice. I believe it's going to be released at Gen Con this year. Uh, don't quote me on that. Um, but we are using Tabletop Simulator today. Unfortunately, there was uh, issues in sending me a physical copy of the game. So we are playing the game using Tabletop Simulator today. The advantage of that, of course, is that we can play with anybody who we want to. So uh, I've contacted one of the designers, Mr. Adam Kwipinski, who's joined us today. Good afternoon, Adam. Hi, everybody. Nice to meet you. And you're going to be, uh, you're going to be presumably, as the designer of this game, you're going to be beating us and showing us how the game is actually played. <laughs> ah, you know, we will see. It's not always like this, but I will try because you will I, try. You will try. I cause... can't play uh, different way, so I will try to win. Oh, Sorry right. You're, you're going to experiment with a new strategy to see if it works. I see. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so yes, yeah, so Adam is one of the one of the two designers of the game. I've played the game before. My job here is to show you how the game is played and not to play it very well. Uh, I'm also joined by Scott today. Good afternoon, Scott. Hello. And James is joining us as well. Afternoon. Right, we're going to be doing a four-player game today. The game does play from two to four players. There is a uh, there is a solo mode included in it as well. I think there's a solo mode included in it. I think so. Um, there normally is with these games. But yeah, we're going to be doing the full four-player game today. And the plan is that I'm going to be giving you a, a sort of high-level introduction about how the game plays. But because we've all played it before, or in James's case, watched some videos on how to play, um, we'll then be explaining more of the details as we actually start playing. So that means you can you can actually see how it plays out. Right. So, uh, Terracotta Army, the theme of the game is we're building up the clay warriors that is the Terracotta Army. We're going to be building them in this section of the board here, which as you can see is empty at the start of the game. Uh, we're going to be playing the game over five rounds. The rounds are tracked in this part of the board here, and what we're missing is the scoring tiles. So at the start of the game, we draw out five random scoring tiles out of the bag. There are... how many are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, there's about twelve. Uh, 12. 12 of them. Yeah, so there's 12 of them. Uh, we've drawn five at random. They are the scoring tiles for this game. So they're not, they're not going to change. And at the end of each of the rounds, we are going to score that tile and get victory points as shown here. Now, we'll go into that in a bit more detail later on. But just so you know, there's five rounds. We're trying to score points. There is also going to be some end of game scoring as well. Each round is divided into three phases. In the first phase, that is the action phase, where all of the players will be taking actions, placing their workers onto the spaces of this ring here. So this outer ring here, let me just see if I've got a preset, is that one. So this outer, this, this ring is made up of three action rings. We have the outer action ring, the middle action ring, and the inner action ring. And you can probably see that these are going to rotate. The outer one is actually fixed on the board, but the middle one will rotate uh, counterclockwise, and the inner one will rotate clockwise. What we're going to be doing is we're going to be choosing one of the spaces on the very outside of the ring and then performing the three actions in that particular area. That is a player's turn. And in a four player game, each player starts with, you will see here, we've got three workers. So I've got three workers. These start off, in fact, I've got four, should be three. There you go. Yeah, three. Three. In fact, I've got five. There you go, the breeding. Right, so three workers each in a four-player game. If we were playing a three-player game, it would be four workers. And if we were playing a two-player game, it would be five workers. These workers start off as craftsmen. They can get upgraded to um, artisans later on in the game, but they start off as craftsmen. So what's going to happen is in each action phase, we are going to be placing one worker at a time until we've all placed three workers. So we get to perform three turns each action phase. Then what we do is we're going to score the current scoring token, and then we will do some cleanup and we will prepare for the next round. That's basically how the flow of the game works. So I mentioned uh, setup. We're going we're gonna to rotate this inner action ring to a random space and the middle one. We also have random turn order. That's the wrong bag, which is this one. This one. So first player is me. Second player is Scott. Third player is Adam. Fourth player is James. Right. That's just a Random starting order. Now, all players start with um, three coins, but second player, uh, who is Scott, you also start with one, one wet clay. So clay is one of the currencies in this game, and it is either wet or dry. Second player starts with one wet clay. Third player starts with two wet clay and a coin. And the fourth player starts with three wet clay and two coins. 
So they are the Rich. two resources in the game, coins and clay, but clay can either be wet or dry. And as you might expect, you can only make things out of wet clay. And what's going to happen is at the end of each round, the clay that you've got is actually going to dry out. So you have to wet it again so that it's, it's usable. Um, right, very, very quick overview of the game is we're going to be taking actions on this ring. And what I will do is I will explain each of the actions as we do them. Um, and it's actually, it's actually my go first. So let's look at the scoring tiles. So these scoring tiles, as I mentioned, we're going to score uh, at the end of that particular round. And this scoring token here has got a little grid on it. And you can see that the top right is shaded in. That grid refers to this section here. And this is where we're going to be building the warriors on the board. And what this scoring token says is, at the end of round one, we are going to look at this top right section, these 12 spaces here. Whoever has the most warriors in that section will gain dominance and will get five points. And then everybody else who's in there but doesn't have dominance will actually gain presence, which is two points. Um, if domination is tied, if two players have the most, then no player is considered to have dominance and they just get presence along with everybody else. So that is kind of our objective for the first round. But we need to look at the second scoring token as well. And the second scoring token is clay. Simply, whoever's got the most clay, whether it be dry or wet or whatever, will get seven points. Uh, presence will get um, three. Then in the third round, we're going to score for the bottom area, the bottom left area. The fourth round is coins. And the fifth round is... Uh, guards. So there are four types of warriors that you can build, as you can see here. There's officers, guards, crossbowmen, and soldiers. And in the fifth round, it is simply the player with the most guards uh, on the board, no matter where they are. So straight away, Scott, I'm looking at this and I'm thinking, well, these tiles are very different from the ones we had on Tuesday. So this yeah. is going to be quite a different game. <laughs> um, yeah. There is also scoring at the end of the round for the inspector. So we have two inspectors. We have this inspector here, who's going to move along this track, and we have this inspector who's moving along this track. Now, at the end of each round, the inspector at the bottom is going to score. Uh, everybody uh, in this who's got a warrior in this section, basically there's going to be a, a domination and a presence using the same method as before. That's at seven points and three points. And then this inspector is going to score here. So at the moment, we're sort of inclined to build in this column and in this row, but there are things that can be done to move these inspectors along. And they will move along at the end of each round as well. Okay, let's let's give it a go. Uh, and let's take the first action in the game. So basically, before I choose which of these spaces I want to go on, I may, if I want to, rotate either the inner action ring one step counterclockwise, or I can rotate the middle action ring one step... Sorry, the, middle, the inner one goes clockwise, the middle one goes counterclockwise. That cost me two coins. Now, if you remember, I've only got three coins because I'm the start player. So I'm kind of thinking I might I might save my money. At which point, my next job is to take one of my craftsmen and place it on one of the spaces around the outside. Now, you'll notice that there are actually two spaces on each of the outer uh, slots. The first one is a craftsman. Then that will use up that particular area. But the other space is available for an artisan. Now, nobody's got an artisan at the moment, but you cannot put a craftsman where there is already a craftsman. So if you want to use the same section that somebody else has used, it has to be an artisan. And in fact, if you go on there with an artisan first, then nobody else can use that space after that. Okay, so let's have a look at what I'm going to do. I think... Um, so I, I don't have any clay to start with, do I? No, I've got no clay whatsoever. So I think I might choose this one here. So after I've chosen an action space, what I now do is I resolve these three actions in order. I've got to resolve the inner one first, then the middle one, then the outer one. However, the inner one and the middle one, if I wanted to, I could choose to forego that action. And instead, I would get either one clay, a wet clay, or a coin. Um, the outer one, you can't forgo that. You, you either get it or you don't get it. You, there's no compensation. So, in an action ring, I'm going to do that. Now, that action only appears once in the game and it only appears on that space. And what it does is it promotes this craftsman into an artisan. So, if you were wondering how you get artisans, there you go. That's how. 
So because my artisan is now in this section, it means nobody can go on this space for the rest of this round. The next action is very simple. That gets me two coins. I'll do that in a second. And the bottom action means I gain a crossbow. So if we have a look at my player area, I'm just going to give myself an extra two coins. You'll notice that each player has these four tokens to represent the four weapons, the sword, the halberd, the bow, and the spear. And there are certain things you can do in the game, but you can only do them if you've got a particular weapon. So I gain a crossbow. What I do is I flip that over. I've now got a crossbow. When I spend that crossbow, I'm going to flip the token back. And that, I think, is the end of my first action. So, Scott, if you want to let us know what you're going to do, and then I'll explain, uh, explain how the actions work. Uh, so I'm in a similar position to you where I do have some clay, but it's only one, and it's that's one. not enough to actually build anything. So, no. uh, Question looking... in the chat from James. The difference between the craftsmen and the artisans, if you look closely, that's a craftsman, that's an artisan. It's basically a much bigger meeple. Uh, yeah, I'm looking to get some clay. Which, well, there is a, I think you might have meant what the difference, why, why, how they behave differently. Oh, how they behave differently. So, uh, as I mentioned earlier on, if somebody's got a craftsman on a space, the only uh, you can only go to that space again with an artisan. Um, two craftsmen cannot occupy the same section of the uh, of the wheel. Yeah. So, also because I've only got three coins, I'm not going to turn any of the wheels and I am going to come over here mm -hmm. and you get to do all of that so yep. this space is very simple it's just to get four wet clay this one yep. is a master so let's talk about the masters if you look carefully at the ring you will see that there are actually six different spaces they're always on the middle action ring for the six different masters the masters are here now this is optional Scott can choose not to do it but I suspect he is going to do it um, it is this particular master here, which is this one. Now, the first time in the game that you activate a master for a particular section, what you do is you've got a stack of master tokens here. You pay the coins printed on it, which is one. You, you always want to pay the, the cheapest one first. So you pay one coin and then you place that master into the master section here. And then you get to perform its ability. Now, if Scott was to choose that same action later on in the game, he's already got a master there. So he then just gets to do the the ability. A, a, one player cannot have two masters in the same particular area. So Scott's got this master. And what this ability does is it basically allows you to carry out the action on the inner action ring again. So Scott's going to get another four clay. Yep. Oh, maybe I should have done that. I now have <laughs> lots of clay. You now have lots, where, and lots of clay. It's where I was going if... Uh, yeah. if oh, right, if, okay, um... you spotted it as well. <laughs> that, was, that was my one thing that I'd figured out in this game. <laughs> yeah. Now, these masters do something else as well. You'll notice that there is a coin printed here. So in the cleanup phase, which happens between rounds, Scott is going to get one coin. So everybody who has a master on any one of these three will get one coin for each of their, their masters. Uh, and the bottom action space, Scott can't do, because this action here is building a specialist. Let's just touch on the specialists briefly. These are the specialists. These are not owned by any player. Uh, these are specialists that you will basically put on the board. But the cost of building a specialist is always one weapon of the appropriate type and coins. So the first specialist will cost one coin, but after you've built it, the next footman, for example, will cost two coins. But Scott doesn't have any weapons, which means he can't build a specialist at the start of the game. So Scott's turn is over. Okay. And we go to Adam. Uh, yeah, so now it's my turn and I will go here. Let's right. build something. Yeah, so the first action, and you're going to see this a lot during the game because this is what the game is about. It's building the Terracotta army, is this action here. So this is spend two clay to build a warrior. You'll notice there's one here, 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 and here. These are all building warriors for a slightly different amount of clay. Now, the warriors that you build are over here. Now, I must mention that this is a tabletop simulator mod that we're using today. The physical version of this game, this is a box, and these, these miniatures are actually placed in the box upside down. 
So what you see when you're when you're playing the game is you just see a box and you see all of the bases. You won't see these and what you do is you choose which warrior you want to build and you take it out of the box. Now you can build any of the warriors but um, what was I going to say? No, can, can you build any of the warriors? Yeah, you can build any of the warriors, can't you? Yeah. What's What's the one where you can only build it from the the one that's got the uh, the most of? This is the master. This, that's the master. This that master is the different way that's to build the, the warriors. Right. So yeah. you can build any one of the warriors, and you'll notice the points printed on the side. That's the points you're going to get. So at the start of the game, Adam has free choice, whichever one he wants to build, and he's going to get eight points for building it. Which one do you want to build, and where do you want to build it? Okay, I will pay the two clay because this is uh, what uh, the inner wheel yep. says. And one of the clay, always when you build something, has to go on the uh, warehouse as yep. a dry clay. So yeah, there are four warehouses in the game, one for each quadrant. And whenever, as Adam says, every time you build a warrior, you spend the clay, but one of those clay goes on the warehouse, which I think represents the fact that you've, you've built it, but some of the clay has kind of like fallen off and dropped on the floor and he's lying yeah. around in the warehouse. Exactly. Uh, okay, and I will uh, I will put uh, uh, warrior here and yep. it will be a guard. A guard. Okay, so. right. Now, every war so that gets eight points straight away. Now, every, every warrior, when you build them, has a special ability, but only if you spend a weapon. So you can build these warriors without giving them a weapon, but if you give them a weapon, when you build them, then you get to activate the special ability. Uh, Adam doesn't have any weapons at the start of the game, so he's built a halberdman, but not given him a, got, not given him a halberd. So it's just, just the yeah. eight points for putting him on the board. Right. Uh... So exactly, and now I will uh, go to the master, and of course I will pay one coin uh, yep. to place one master on the uh, truck here. Yeah. So this is similar to what Scott did. Uh, Adam's first master cost one coin, and the ability is get three clay. Now the exactly. secondary ability of each of these masters is at the end of each round, when all of your wet clay dries, for each of your masters of these three, you can keep one of those clay as wet. It prevents one of your clay from drying out. Exactly. And the last thing is to flip my halberd on. Yep, you now do sides. have a halberd. <laughs> yeah, too late, but yep. I will use it. Uh, okay, James, your first turn. Hmm. I think um, if I had to order the... The places, sort of, uh, in order of preference, they would have been one, two, and three that I right. wanted. Right. Okay. Um, and I'm not convinced about turning the wheels yet. Whether it's worth it at this point in terms of money. Um, so I'm going to start here. Okay. So I so get four you money. Get four coins. That's nice and easy. Do you want to have this master? I guess you do. Uh, and then I am going to take the master. Okay. So again, uh, James's so first one. master oh. cost one coin. Oh, he's doubling up. I've taken. There you go. Sorry. And the ability of this is you take all of the dry clay from any two warehouses. Just going to have that one and... Yeah, the others are all ones, aren't they? The others are all ones, yeah. Um, okay, and then so, you get a spear. And then I get the spear, which is the white. No, no, that's yeah. the sword. It's that one. Right, so we've all had one turn. It is now back to me for my second placement. Uh, and let's have a look. So I still don't have any clay. <laughs> so I probably need to get myself some clay at some point. However, the clay space here is gone. So what I'm going to do is... Oh, but if I rotate it, it's still gone. Oh, dear. That's not good, is it? Um... Oh, wow. Yeah. Right, so what I'm going to do is, change of plan, I am going to select, I'm not going to rotate, I could do, but I'm not going to rotate, I'm just going to play a craftsman here, because I'm going to use the rule that I did mention earlier on, if you don't want to do the action of the inner action ring or the middle action ring, you can forego that action, uh, and you can see that printed on the board here, you can forego the action, 
and take either one wet clay or one coin. So this inner action here, I'm not going to do that, and I'm going to get a clay instead. And then the outer action is to get two clay, uh, and sorry, the middle action is to get two clay, and the outer action is to get a sword. So basically, I'm going to get myself three clay, and I'm going to flip my sword over. And that's my turn done. Over to you, Scott. It's interesting to see how this board develops because obviously it's round one, it's the start of the game. We're only going to be putting a few on there, but at the end of the game, this is going to be a complete mess. There's going to be pieces all over the place. And there's end of game scoring as well that I haven't mentioned yet. I'll probably mention that um, a couple of rounds in. I don't want to overwhelm you with too much information at the start. We all know how the end of game scoring works. So yeah, we don't have a, a disadvantage for not knowing. Uh, yeah, I am tossing up a couple of possibilities. One okay. space where I want to go. Are you consider rotating? Really wanna, I, I don't really want to because I've still only got two coins. Yeah, <laughs> so it would be so all of your money. Spend. Yeah, and the one I would rotate doesn't actually help very much. Um, I'm also looking at the scoring tiles because. Yeah, the, we've got this odd situation where we both want to score the top right and, and because kind of, of the yeah. inspector's <laughs> bottom left. Uh, so I kind of want to build something and probably put it in one of those two areas, but uh, it's going to be expensive. And I kind of want to do that first, so maybe, but then I do have another artisan left. It's interesting because when we played it on Tuesday, we started off and we were kind of just doing random moves because we didn't really know the game. Now that we've both played the game, we're like, oh, right, okay. We're, we're thinking a bit more about what moves to yeah. do. Yeah. Okay, I am going to go here. Right, and I am are you building? No, I'm going to skip the building. Okay. And I'm going to take, take a clay. Yep. Because clay is going to score next round. So you don't have enough clay. Yep. Yeah. And then would you and like I'm this gonna... master here? I am going to spend my two coins, yeah. Yeah, so this is the Master Blacksmith. They're all explained on here. And basically, whenever you activate the Master Blacksmith, you flip all of your weapons over. He crafts one of each weapon for you. So, yeah. Scott's going to flip all of his weapons over. Nice. Uh, and then the bottom space is getting a crossbow, but you've already got a crossbow, and yeah. you're not allowed to have two crossbows. So, there we go. Right, Adam, your next turn. Yeah, okay, so uh, I will try to uh, do something like this. Uh, before I put my uh, worker here, I will turn the wheel Okay. once. So that cost you two coins. Yeah, I pay two coins. And just as a reminder for the for audience, that. you can only do that once. You can only rotate one of the wheels and you can only do it one step. And I will go here. Okay. Uh, so again, I spent one clay here and, and clay. one clay just to, to the back. Yep. Uh, and I will uh, build another figure and it will go here. Is it going to be another guard? It will be, it will be guard, guard as well. Okay, so that gets you uh, seven points. Yeah, this is seven points, but this time, of course, I will use my halbar because right. I will get it back. So and the special ability of the guard is yeah. score three points and you may move one of your warriors, other than the guard that you've just built, any number of spaces in a straight line. Uh, because I have only two warriors, I don't want to move, but okay. I uh, get, the still get the three points for that. Yeah, yeah I will get uh, two clays back because of the next space yep. and uh, i get and my get halberd back. back yep right okay james okay um as expected turning the wheel has made me rethink my uh, <laughs> yeah <laughs> my play sorry for that so, no it's fine um so i think i'm gonna go here are you building a warrior i am so three clay so one of which goes here 
I've flipped that one and then two no don't put them in the coin bag um and then so the best thing to do is drag your base first onto yeah. where you want to put it and then put the piece on top of it yeah so it's gonna go uh I guess it depends which type of warrior you're going to build. Yeah. Which I've obviously know for sure already. <laughs> um, I think... Um, it's a good little spatial puzzle. I think puzzle, I'm going to go there. Yeah. And I am going to build... Who's it going to be? A... Uh, no, I don't want to use the thing, so it doesn't actually matter. Uh, In which case, a guard. Well, I mean, it's worth, it's worth slightly less points for the guard, but we know that the guards are scoring in round five. That is true. Okay. So it's going to be so a guard, we'll but you're not a using guard. a halberd. There. I'm not using the halberd because yep. I want to use the halberd on the. Uh, oh, sorry, that was only the first one. So then the middle one. Yep. I'm going to pay two of my coins, and I am going to put out that. Okay. Now, what this does is it allows you to move one of the inspectors one or two spaces. So James, which I have done. This inspector to here. Okay. And also, you have to get your six point uh, six points because of building that. Uh, yes. yes, thank you. Uh, uh, so then, six points to there. Uh, do we have a specialist being built? Yes. Right. So, so this icon I'm using here my... is is building a specialist, and you can see that that icon only appears on the outer ring. It's on a number of them. When you build a specialist, you can choose whichever specialist you want to build, but you have to have the weapon for it. And James only has a spear. So you're going to be building so I'm using my spear this musician. and a coin. So the first musician costs one spear and one coin. The next musician will cost one spear and two coins. Now these specialists can go anywhere on the board. They are not owned by any player. So you don't put your own coloured base on them. They just go onto a particular space on the board. And they all do different things, which is explained on here. The musician is going to basically score every scoring phase. Is it every scoring phase? I think it is, isn't it? Yeah, every yes. scoring phase... The musician is going to score uh, one point for each warrior in the same row and column as it. So, yeah, there you go. That's what the musicians do. Um, and you're all done, James. So it's my so. last action of the first round of the game. Wow. Now, I, I do have some clay now. I actually have three clay, so I think... I probably want to build something. And how am I doing for weapons? I have a crossbow and I have a sword. Right. I'm going to go on here. I'm going to spend three clay to build a warrior. So one of them goes face down there and the other two just get spent. And what do we want to build? I think... Now, the scoring tiles are that and that, which is interesting. Yeah, so I think I'm going to build a... Hmm, hang on a minute. What other weapon have I got? I've got a sword. Oh. Yeah, the horses aren't as good in this game as they were in Tuesday's game. And you'll see why. Because I don't think I'm going to build one. Um, oh, rats. Okay. Yeah. What I'm going to do is I am going to build an officer. And the officer is going to get built. Um, let's put my purple base here. So the officer is going to get built there, I think. Hmm. Yeah, so the officer is going to get built there. That gets me eight points. And then if I want to, I can give the officer a sword. And I do have a sword, so I'm going to give them a sword. And that allows me to use the ability of the officer, which is score one point, and I can move one, one inspector one step forward or one step back. I'm going to move that inspector to there. 
and get a point. Right, then I'm going to take two clay. Uh, and then the bottom section is to build a specialist. And I am going to build a specialist. Now I only have a crossbow. So I flip the crossbow over and I spend one coin to build a kneeling archer. Now a kneeling archer is an interesting one because what happens is you put it so that it's this is the only piece in the game where facing matters. All of the other pieces, it doesn't actually matter which way they face, but the kneeling archer, it does matter. The one that they're facing, it's basically going to break ties. So when I've spoken before about dominance, which is the player with the most of a particular number of pieces, uh, the kneeling archer is the one that breaks ties. So I'm going to put this kneeling archer so it is actually pointing towards... Um, yeah, my officer there. I think that's what I want to do. Yeah, I'm going to put it there. So it so this actually counts as a type of officer, uh, as an officer, but it's it, it's not owned by anybody. But what it does mean is if we're now doing dominance for this row here, although me and yellow both have one piece, I break ties because I've got a kneeling archer. Um, right, that's it. That's my go done. So, Scott. And you've nicely blocked me out of building anything. Have I? That wasn't deliberate. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you took the last so. build space and I can't rotate because I don't have any money. Ah, uh, right. Okay. So, so I think I will just get money. Yeah. There's a nice space just there. Yeah. Well, no, I can't do that one. Got I, money don't to... the, I don't have the money to. Yeah. Um, but yeah no, I'll but you could forego it. that and forego that. If you wanted to, yeah. it, I was saying that was an alternative way of him building because he said right. you'd blocked him from building. So I was oh just right, him. okay. But if you haven't got money, then I will go right. here because this gets me six it's money, six coins. And do you want to build a specialist? I do not. There's no point. Right, because you're not on the board yet. Right, Adam, your last yeah. action of the first round. Uh, yeah, sure, and I will get here yep so that turns that one into an artisan and you take this token here so we haven't mentioned this yet but this is basically a token off the stack that means that adam will become the first player uh in the next round of the game notice that the number two turn order token has one clay on it so if you take the number two token you get one clay uh, and the number three token has got two clay on it we're playing a four player game today so we use all of the tokens but if we were only playing a three-play game, we, we wouldn't use this token. So basically, you take that token and that will set your position in turn order for the next round. Uh, and Adam, are you building a specialist? Uh, no, I'm not. I'm good. Right. James, last action of the round. Mm, lots of choice. Where's he going to go? Um, right. So I'm going to wet my clay. Yeah, so this action here, which you can see twice in the game, what that does is it converts all of your dry clay into wet clay. So any amount of dry clay that you had becomes wet clay. And, and now, do you want that? I think I do. Oops. Yeah. Um, accidentally. So I think you have to lift it off and then pick up the okay. one beneath. Okay. And yeah, then just click on the it bag. accidentally. Put it back and put that one over the top. There we go. Um. So yeah. I'm going to take this one. So it seems like I'm going masters as, as a strategy. Uh -huh. um, so there's... Do you have the four coins? You do. Wow. So you've got four masters out in the first round of the game. Uh, three. Oh, you've just placed that one? Yeah. Right, okay. So that's yeah. three so the, the ability coins. of this one is um, that you can basically buy... A warrior. Now this icon here means the round marker. If you look at the round marker it's that. So it's going to cost one coin because it's round one of the game. If you did this in round yep. five it'd cost five coins. And what you do is you place a warrior on the board with a few exceptions. First of all the warrior that you place has to be in the lowest position. So right now it can only be the crossbowman uh, or the soldier. You also um, don't get any points for it and you don't get to use its ability. So you still put it on the board, you still attach one of your bases to it, but you don't get the immediate points for doing it. So why would you um, want to do it? It's because of the scoring benefits of that piece later on in the game. 
Uh, and Joe, yeah. we're going to talk about uh, turn order change very soon. But um, yeah, yeah, Adam used yeah. this action on the board here, and that allows you to take the, the turn order token, which is on top of the stack, and then that will have an effect in a minute. Uh, so I think we'll do yep. a crossbow. Stick a crossbow and on. Put it, I'm going to put it on that yep. row, obviously. Um, and then I've got one last thing to do, I think. Uh, no, I haven't got any um, weapons, so I can't go a specialist. Which one was it you were doing? You were doing that one, weren't you? Yeah. Okay, so that's it. We've all done our actions. So now what we do is we do the scoring. Uh, so first of all, let's do the scoring based on this scoring token here. Uh, I don't think it matters the order in which you do the scoring. So... We'll do yeah, that one first. It's not important. Yeah, okay. So basically, the player <laughs> with the most pieces in the top right of the board, <laughs> which is Adam, uh, you get five points for having dominance. Yeah. And, and nobody else gets any points because the rest of us forgot about that. That's the scoring token done, nice and simple. Now what we're going to do is we're going to score the inspectors. So this inspector, nobody scores for that. Gives nothing, yeah. Yeah, and this inspector... Scores for this. Now, yellow has two pieces. Purple only has one. So yellow has dominance. And scoring for the inspectors is seven or three. So yellow is going to get seven points. Purple is going to get three points. Okay. Now we'll score for the musicians. The musician is one point for every warrior in the same row or column. So that's another two points for yellow. And another one point for purple. Um, we should move the inspectors on, by the way. So when the inspectors score, the inspectors then move on. Um, and I think that is it for the end of round scoring. I don't think there's anything else. Yes, we've done the inspectors, good. we've done the scoring tile, that's it. Right, so the cleanup phase. What happens in the cleanup phase is the inner action ring rotates one, the middle action ring rotates one. Uh, everybody's going to get all of their workers back. Workers back here. Uh, and everybody's wet clay converts into dry clay. But for every master you have here, that prevents one of those clay from drying out. So I don't have any masters here. So both of my wet clay becomes dry. Everybody else flips their stuff over. And then everybody gets income. So income is based on the number of masters here. So James, you've got two masters in this section. So you get two coins. And Scott, you've got one coin. And then we're going to change turn order. So because Adam took this turn order token, Adam is going to be the new start player and everybody else just shuffles down the turn order. Uh, the relative positions in turn order stay the same for everybody else. And that's it. That, that is the first round of the game done. So we'll move on to round two. And then at the end of round two, I'm going to explain how the end of game scoring works in this area here. As I say, we all know how the end of game scoring works. So we're working towards that. But for round two, the scoring token is basically the, the number of clay that you have, the total number of clay, whether it be wet or dry. Uh, right, Adam, you are first for round two. Let's have a look at the board. Yes, yes, I see. And what I want to do is to go... Mark is asking, what do we reckon the weight of the game is? Based on my reading yeah. of the rules and the one play so far, I don't think this is a particularly complex game in terms of rules, um, but it is one of those where you need to uh, really think about what it is that you're placing and exactly where you're placing it. So it's very tactical in terms of the placement on the board. Uh, I think the, uh, yeah, the, the depth of the game is probably um, a bit more than the weight of the rules if that makes sense. What I mean is the rules are not that complex but I think there's quite a bit of depth in the actual gameplay because there's a number of factors that you need to consider in, in what to place and where to place it. Okay, so I uh, took my action uh, already so I take three coins three and coins. I use my master. I don't have to pay for it because I right. have a master here so it gives me yeah, free, free play. play. And now I'm thinking uh, about building uh, 
the specialist, okay. but I I don't want to build okay. it yet. So, so that's all. Just as a reminder, Adam took this action here. And this action is this master. He already had a master there. So instead of paying for it and placing another one, you basically just use the ability again. So it's only the first time in the game that you get to do that action that you have to pay to put a master there. After that, you just you just keep getting the action every time you activate it. Right, me next. Um, so I have one artisan and I have two craftsmen. I'm probably going to save my craftsman, I think. And although the scoring tile is for clay, you kind of want to spend the clay to put the pieces on the board. Um, and I think, uh, what weapons have I got? What weapons? I've got no weapons. Right, okay. So where's the blacksmith? The blacksmith is here, which is coins. I think we're going to do that. Yeah, okay. So I'm going to place my craftsman here. So that gets me four coins. Uh, I'm then going to have this master. So I'll just take three coins because I take four and then I spend one of them to put this here, which gets me to flip all of my weapons over. There we go. Um, and then the bottom action is I can have a specialist. Right. Do I want one of these specialists? Hmm. I think I do. Um, oof. Although at this stage in the game, it's I don't actually have that many things out. No, I'm not going to have a specialist yet. I'm going to I'm going to just wait a little bit more. So that's my go done. Scott, you're up. Yeah. So I need some wet clay. So do I want to go there or there? You've got lots of clay, but it's all coins. dry. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so it's between. Uh, I suppose I could rotate that as well. That'll give me more clay. Yeah, I'm going to spend two coins. Okay. Which one are you rotating? The inner wheel. Okay. And then going here. Then, so that converts all of your dry clay into wet clay. Yep. You then get another two wet clay. And then if you want to, you can build a specialist. I will not. Okay. Right. Nice and easy. James. I think I have to go here. Okay. So four clay. Uh, and then it is the master supervisor, who you are already there, so you get all of yep. the dry clay from two different warehouses. Yeah, and this one's got... I think there's two there. Two. Uh, one on all of the others, I think. Yeah. And I think... I think I'll take that one. Okay, and then you can build a specialist. Except I can't. Okay, right, back to Adam. Mm, okay, so uh, in that case, I want to turn that wheel mm -hmm. for two coins, uh, and I will get uh, I got things from. Here. So four so, clay, two coins, and a spear. Yeah. I keep the coins I should to pay for turning, so I only take clay and flip the spear. Okay, right. That's all. So now you're going to see the artisan being placed because I want to do this action. And because there's already a craftsman there, you cannot have two craftsmen in the same area. So I have to place my artisan if I want to do this, which I do. So I am going to build a warrior. It's going to cost me two clay. Oh, hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. I haven't got any clay. I haven't got any wet clay. <laughs> My clay's all dry. <laughs> right. Okay. Change yeah. of plan. Uh, yeah. Change of plan. Oh, dear. Oh. Right. Oh, rats. I do have the money to rotate one of the things though but yeah there's only one space that gets clay on the interaction ring it's quite highly thought over i think i might just use my artisan to go there then so i'm going to use my artisan to go there 
gets me four clay, two coins, and a spear. I can't use the spear because I've already got a spear. So basically I get four clay, two coins. And that's me go done. Yeah, turns can go quite quick in this game. So Adam, four player game of this, once all of the players know how to play, are you looking at an hour and a quarter? To an hour and a half? Uh, yeah, I think it, of course, depends what kind of uh, players uh, mm -hmm. we have around the table, but uh, it goes quite quick. Uh, the last round is, of course, uh, a little slower because yeah. everybody uh, starts to think <laughs> what can, I, can they do and how to maximize their victory points. But uh, before that, uh, as you see, uh, lots of rounds are quick. Okay, so I'm paying two to rotate the inner ring again. Okay. Place my craftsman up here. So three clay to build a warrior. Yeah. Look at all that clay. Three. Shall I do your face down one? Yes, please. So that's going here. And which warrior are you going to build? I will build a guard. We're all going for the guards. <laughs> well, they're going to score later. So. They are going to score at the end of the game, <laughs> yeah, in round five. Uh, oh, actually, do I want to do a guard? Because if I do, mm, mm, I can do it that way around. Okay, yeah, and no, I'm going to do it differently. I am going to... And start with an Ooh. officer who's going to go there. Slap bang in the middle. That scores me seven points. Seven points for the officer. Are you then spending a sword? We'll use the sword. Okay, so that gets you one extra point, which I will give you there. And you can move yeah. one of the inspectors one space forward or one space backwards. I will move this one on space forwards. Okay. So that's your first thing done. That was three clay to yep. build a warrior. Yep. Next. Then I do the master, which costs yep. me three coins. Which one is it? It's the it's the master builder, it's isn't the, it? Yeah, yep. master builder. So three coins to activate the master builder, and then it, because this is round two, you spend two coins to build a warrior. Ah, I'm out of coins. Ah, that's, ah, that doesn't work. So you can still place the master and just not get the benefit. Yeah. If you wanted to, it's up to you. Uh, I was forgetting the cost. Yeah, he wants pain, does the master builder. He doesn't work for free. Do you mind if I undo slightly? No, that's fine. Uh, so in, I won't rotate the ring. Okay. And I'll go here instead. Yep. I'll still do the, the build. Still do the building. The, sword, the officer. But then instead of... Uh, yeah. I'll give you a master keep back. two yeah. coins and I keep the... That and I keep... Yeah, I keep all my coins, in fact. And you get two clay and a halberd. <laughs> yeah. And I get two clay and a halberd. Yeah, that's fine. Right. Which I've already got. But James. Yeah. No. Are you muted, James? I think James is muted. Sorry. Yes, right. I was muted. <laughs> um, is is the five? Is it five or three? Five. Is that for second place, or is that for presence in it's, terms it's of three? Play? Oh, it's three, is it? Yeah, they might want to change that font because it does look a bit like a five. Uh, so oh, the, yeah. the three is for everybody who has presence. And yeah. presence is basically as long as you've got one or more. Yeah. yeah. So everybody who's got any amount okay. of clay at the end of this round will get three five. points. And the player with the most will get seven. Fine. Okay. Oh, it has been changed, um, Michael has said in the chat. So it, the, the, they have one. changed the font, yet yeah. it's no longer... <laughs> There's two good. lines. One of them makes it a three and the other one makes it a five. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay. 
I'm fed up with going last. Right. Um, <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to go there. Yeah. Four um, coins. So that's four coins. You take this token here. And my... And is it a bow? Crossbow. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There you go. Right. Adam, last turn for round two. Uh, yeah. Uh, okay, I'm not sure uh, only one thing about Scott because uh, I'm not sure about the coins you have now because uh, you don't spend the coins for your uh, master, yeah, the free coins, but you have to spend two for turning the wheel. So I I reversed the turn of the wheel as well. Oh, you reversed you that. that. Okay, yeah. yeah, yeah. So everything is clear now. Uh, Okay, so I spent two coins to uh, turn the wheel, the inner inner circle wheel, mm -hmm. and after that I will put my oh, artisan, artisan here. Yep. Yeah. So I will spend two clay, one and the second one, another to warrior. build something. Yeah, and. Uh, and what I want to build is to build a soldier. Okay. Uh, and my soldier will go over here. Yeah. That's good for the musician and it's good for the current scoring round. And are yeah. you spending so this is eight. a spear? Uh, yeah, I will be spending okay. a spear, but first it's eight victor eight points, points and after spending spear. It gives me one more point and the special ability is two coins. Two coins, nice. And I will need them. Uh, okay, the second thing is to activate uh, Master. So Mr. I have Blacksmith. to pay yep. two coins for him. Place that here. And you get all of your weapons flipped over. And flip all of my weapon. Yep. And now I will... Uh, I will build a special, a special a specialist, and it will be. Uh, I think it will be a horse. Okay, right. So I pay one coin, one coin, and, and a sword. sword. Okay, so the horse is interesting because what happens is, you actually choose which of your pieces on the board you want to give them a horse, and then you take that piece off put the horse on and then put that piece back on the horse. Yeah. Now, so what that does do that. is it means that that piece is now occupying all of those three spaces there. So it's still just one warrior, but it's occupying three spaces. Now, that is useful for a few reasons. First of all, it's still one guard. So when we come to scoring in round five, which is the number of guards, it is still just one guard, but it's actually occupying those three columns there so whether the inspector is here here or here it's going to score also the musician is going to score for the musician um, and there's various other reasons as well so to give you a quick idea of how uh, Tuesday's game played out we had a scoring tile for this area and we also had another scoring tile for this area so what somebody did is they put a horse here which means their warrior that's actually here was actually also here as well so yeah depending on which scoring tiles come out um, yeah, that, that kind of influences uh, which of these you might want to build. So, right, nicely done. Yeah, and that was all. Your turn's finished. My go. Now, I do have the coins if I need to rotate, but I don't think I need to. I think I'm going to build. Now, do we want to build? Ooh. Yes, I'm going to go here. So I'm going to spend three clay, one of it, one of which goes there as dry, and then get rid of the other two. And I am going to build my own guard. And the guard that I build is going to be, so this is mine. Uh, where do we want to build this? So we've already scored, which area have we scored? We've scored the top right. Yeah. Um, I think I'm going to put it here. I'm going to build a guard. Gets me six points. Goes from 13 to 19. 
I am then going to spend a halberd to get another three points, one, two, three, but I'm not going to use the ability to move a piece. So as a reminder, the ability of the guard is get three points, and then if I wanted to, I could choose my other piece and move them as far as I wanted uh, in one direction until they hit something. That's that done. Now we have this one, the master builder. So I'm going to spend two coins to put the master builder out. And then I'm going to activate the master builder and it's round two. So I spend another two coins. And this time it has to be either the crossbowman or the soldier. Um, and I can't, I can't get the ability of it. So I'm just going to take a soldier, I think. And I think I'm going to put it... I'm going to put it here. I think I'm going to put it there. I'm not sure. Oh, because that's kind of not in that area, is it? Now let's put it. Let's put it here. Yeah, I'll put it there. Um, and then the final one is that I get a halberd back. So that's me. That's me. Go dumb, Scott. Yeah, watching me again. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, and the worst bit is, I know you're not doing it deliberately. <laughs> no, I, I, I haven't got enough brain power <laughs> to to think about what move to do to mess you up. I'm just thinking of myself. I'm being very selfish. Um, okay. It's slightly less bad now because there's two artisans, so I don't get my last turn completely dictated to me, but. Right, no, that doesn't, because that, oh, that hurts. Uh, uh, so the the round scoring tiles, if two of us have the same amount of clay, Nobody do we has just dominance. get Yeah, you just, we get, just the get the three, three points. That, and that, that rule about players tying for dominance is the same throughout the whole game, whether it be the inspectors, whether it be the scoring tile, or even end game scoring. It's, it's always the same rule for dominance and presence. If I go there, it's going to be the same. If I go there, it's the same. But will James... He'll just not build. That's... Maybe I go, and I can't go there. I can't go there. So I can't do that. I can't go there unless I rotate that there, and then that's just useless. I really want to build something. No, I'm going to. Uh, okay. I see if I go there, then James goes there, gets the point. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's not good. Oh, if I do that, I could at least get that. And yeah, mess everybody up on that. That's oh, okay. Let's do that. Yeah. There, you get to wet your clay twice. Yeah. <laughs> I think if you put too much well, water on, on wet clay, it dissolves and you lose it all. I think that should be should be a rule. <laughs> you get uh, mud. Yeah. I'm going there. I'm getting four coins. I am then paying three of the coins. the master out here in the right place and he allows me to move this inspector here and then i can build a how many coins have i got oh, i've got plenty of coins i'm gonna have another mm. specialist 
Yeah, just deciding which one to build. Uh, let's see, I do that. What's that like that or like that? That's going to score a couple more times. That's not bad. Ah, but I don't have that weapon, so I can't build that one. Uh, do that, put that there. That's quite nice. Yeah, let's do that. So yeah, I'm going to do a specialist. I'm going to use the spear, pay a coin, pay two the coins. Musician. So yeah, one yeah. spear, two coins, another musician and comes out. He's going to stand behind my officer. Okay. James, for the final action of this round. Um, okay, so you've ended up on 11, Clay, haven't you? I'm not missing one. No, I have 11. Okay, so I'm going to spend two coins to turn that, and I'm going to go here. Yeah. So I'm just going to gain two coins rather than... Oh, right, yeah. You have the two coins to, to move it. Yeah, I've got yeah. loads of coins. Okay. And then, you and then I get two clay. And you can also build a specialist if you want. Uh, and I think I do want... Um, you only have a crossbow, so it would have to be a kneeling I, archer if you wanted indeed. it. Indeed. Um, and that's going to cost me the crossbow on two coins. Yeah. Um, so I've got a kneeling archer. I think as I understand it, I want to link my guard up to you, those other guards. So mm -hmm. I'm gonna do that. Yeah. So we we haven't covered groups yet. Uh, but what James has done by placing that kneeling archer there, the kneeling archer actually counts as a warrior of the type it is facing. So it counts as a guard. It's not, it's not owned by any player, but it is a guard. What that means is these four here are now in a group, and that's going to be important for end of game scoring. And I think that's clean up. That you're done. Right, okay. Well, scoring. scoring phase. So first of all, who's got the most clay? Which is James. So James, you get the seven points for having the most clay, and then everybody else who has at least one clay gets presence, which is three points. One, two, three. Okay, that's the scoring tile done. Uh, let's do the inspectors next. So this inspector, well, Scott's got domination of this line, so Scott gets seven points, and nobody else gets any. The inspector moves on. Uh, and this line is a tie between green and blue. Uh, nobody has a kneeling archer, so nobody breaks the ties. So you both get three points. And that inspector yeah. moves on. Musicians. We have this musician, which is giving one point to Scott. And we have this musician that's giving three points to purple, uh, two points to yellow, and two points to green. Can I ask a question there? Yep. For domination, I thought you had to have uh, more than one person. That's only for the end of game groups. That's only scoring. groups. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Right. Uh, so the inspectors have moved on. We've done the inspectors. We've done that. We've done the musicians. I think that's it. I think that's it for the scoring. So clean up. So I'll rotate the wheels. Uh, we all get our workers back. Uh, James, you took the first player token, so you become the first player, and everybody else moves down one. And we are now on to round three, but just before we start round three, I'm going to go through a couple of things. Oh yeah, Masters, thank you. Yeah. Um, so yeah, everybody's wet clay turns to dry except for Masters, so in this case I've got one wet clay, it would become dry, but I have a Master here, so that stays as wet. Uh, and then Ooh. for income, yellow gets two, blue gets two, purple gets one. Yeah, you get some money. It's not new clay, it's just uh, protecting the old one. Yeah. yeah. I think I just copied too many coins then. How many it's did you have? Weird. 
Right, so just uh, before we go to round three, a couple of things I wanted to mention. First of all, I just wanted to show you some of the other scoring tiles. You've probably worked out already that there are scoring tiles for each of the different types of, uh, of warriors in there. And there are also scoring types for the sections of the board, the quadrants of the board that we didn't see. But there's also these two scoring tokens here. And that's what the, the, shaded, the light shaded areas are for the middle. So this scoring token here is purely for things on this row. Uh, and this scoring token is for things on that row. So they're all the different scoring tokens that are included in the game. And as I say, you'll pick five of those at random at the start of the game. The other thing I wanted to mention just before we move on is end of game scoring. So end of game scoring is going to happen after round five. And this section here of the board is going to be, it's not going to be full of warriors, but there's going to be a lot more than there are now. And what we're going to do after we've done normal end of round scoring, we do end of game scoring. And at that point, we look at groups of warriors. Now, a group, as I just mentioned, is two or more warriors of the same type, with this kneeling archer counting as the thing that it's pointing towards. So these four here are in a group. Uh, these two soldiers here are in a group. This officer here is not in a group. This crossbowman is not in a group. And this guard is not in a group. So any at the end of the game, any warrior which is on its own, not part of a group, is removed from the board. As I say, you, you, do the, you do the normal end of round scoring first, so you'll score for the inspectors and the uh, musicians, but then after that, just before end of game scoring, you will remove from the board every warrior which is on its own, not part of a group. Then what happens is the groups score in two different ways. First of all, each warrior in the group will score a number of points equal to the number of different players who have warriors in that group. So. As an explanation, we have a group here of guards. There are three different coloured bases here, yellow, purple and green, which means each of those warriors is worth three points. Now, if I had, for example, I'm just going to copy and paste there. So if I had that, then each of these warriors in this group is worth three points because there's three different bases, which means I would get six points because I have two warriors. Yellow would get three, green would get three. So it's the points per warrior based on the number of different coloured player bases in that group. Then, after doing that, as long as there was more than one player in that group, you'd then score for dominance and presence in that group as normal. But the, you cannot have uh, a group of just one player who scores dominance at the end of the game. And that's how the group scoring works. So we are trying to get groups of warriors together, because um, that's basically going to be beneficial for all of us. Right. Off we go then. Round just one, three. just one, just yep. one thing. Paul, uh, here we have a group because uh, oh, this, this is, is a group. also yeah. But this is worth only one point for yep. purple because uh, only this uh, guy is uh, right. Uh, give points, and this is one point because only one base and no domination because there's only one player exactly in that group. Exactly. Right. Okay. So that that is a group, but it's not a very valuable group. Got it. Right, so round three scoring is for this bottom left quadrant here that's already quite busy. <laughs> yeah. Right, off we go then. I don't. Have I um, quickly looked at the YouTube and sorted my coins out. Okay, um, excellent. So I've got a lot of play, but it's all dry. Well, not all, but pretty much all so, so in terms of control for this bottom left section i've got three with a tiebreaker yellow's got one and green's got one so even though adam's horse takes up three spaces it's still just one warrior in that section so at the moment i'm looking pretty for winning the domination for this this scoring tile for this round but anything could change so I've gone uh, at the top there. I've just watered my clay. Yeah. Um, I've got the... Master builder? The master builder. I'm in round three, right? Are you going to use it? Uh, so that's three coins. Three coins. It has to be the crossbowman. It does. But you don't get any points so, and you don't get the ability. Uh, yeah. I realise that I'm not... I don't think optimizing things very well. Okay. Uh, but at least it's a group now. I it is suppose. a group. Yeah. Two crossbowmen together. What do you call a group of crossbowmen? I don't know. Um, a quarrel? 
<laughs> Coral. <laughs> and it's the halberd I'm getting, isn't it? Uh, yes. Okay, yeah, that's me. You're done. done. Adam. Okay. Uh... I start planning my turn. The problem so, is, someone then moves the wheel, don't they? And then you're completely stuck yep. in it. <laughs> yep, like any worker placement game, you can plan ahead, but <laughs> then somebody might mess it up for you. Mm, let's see. I just, I'm just going to show you. Yeah, I'm still going just before Scott in turn order. Right, just, just wanted to know that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Right, I think I've got a plan. Mm. Ah, it's not so cheap now. Uh, for for that, okay, okay. I think I know what I want to do. Uh, three, okay. So I will go. Here, yeah. Uh, I will get free coin, and uh, instead of using my master, I will get one clay. Okay, so you're going to forego this action and just take a clay instead, yeah? Yeah, and I want to build a specialist, okay. and it's uh, three coins and a crossbow. Oh, it's another kneeling archer. Yeah, and of course... It yeah, these are getting expensive. Here. So what's that going to get you? Or even, even, with me. even that, you know, even that. It will be, it so will be fine. It's still He's just now one tying with me. Guard. Because I've got a kneeling archer as well. Yeah, but there's no, there's no second place as such. Oh yeah, it's just presence, isn't it? It's just presence. Yeah. He's going for the guard is it, rather is it, than the quadrant. Yeah, is it is it scoring. for that score? It must be for that scoring token. Yeah. Okay. I, I think. Okay, that's that's my whole round. Right. Okay, me. Uh, I know where I'm going to go because I haven't got any clay, so I'm going to go here. I get four clay. Um, now I could forego taking the first player marker and take another clay instead, but I, I think I'm going to take it. I'm going to take it. I get one, two, three, four, and I would flip my crossbow, but I've already got a crossbow, so that's me done. You didn't block me this time. I didn't block you this time. Okay, I'll undo no. that action and choose a different one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, however, I do have the problem again where I don't have enough money for what I want to do and I can't rotate anything to get money so I'm going to have to do uh... what six money what are you trying to do <laughs> I would like oh you've got a level four master to put out yeah his yeah. next master is going to cost four yeah, yeah. <laughs> and it's round three <laughs> Right. I am, I am literally one money short. Uh, not that I could go where I need to go to do that anyway, because I don't have an artisan yet. Uh, so do I just do that one? I've got that. Yeah, let's do that. That at least gets me some points. And I can't do that because I don't have enough play. Ah, uh, uh, okay. That moves everything in the wrong direction. 
that. Uh, so it's either going, yeah, there, get more clay, or there where I can't go, or I spent too money and I go there. What's that one? No, that's some dry clay. Yeah, dry clay is not that great. I rotate it there and I get extra wet clay. So let's go here. So no rotations. So you're going to wet all of your clay. Yeah. Then you get wet two more wet clay. clay. And do you want a specialist? Uh, what can I get? I can get a. So nobody's built a footman on yet. A so we haven't explained how they work. Me, oh, they're expensive. They're four coins. Uh, no, I will not build a specialist. Okay, right back to the top, James. Hmm, I'm contemplating doing something rather expensive, but I guess that's what having loads of resources is for, right? Yeah, um, let's do it. It'll be fun. So, I'm gonna go there four clay for a warrior. Oh, yeah, have your spectres, nice. what are you doing? Yeah. So four clay goes there. Well, three clay goes yeah, there and, and one clay goes there. Oh, yeah, yeah. sorry. Yeah. Uh, the one. You've done the one of you, sorry. Uh, and I'm going to put a guard there. Right, which gets you uh, five points. Which gets me five points. I'll, I'll do your points. Thank you. I'll try and do your Yeah, take, it, take his guard off the board as well. <laughs> there you go, five points. Um, do you want to spend a halberd? Uh, so the guard thing is... Is get three points three and then move one of your other officers as far as you want in one direction. I don't think it's going to help me. So I don't think I will. Okay. You can still just um, do it to get the three points. You don't... The movement is optional. Mm, no, I think I'll keep it. Okay. Um, now, and then you're going to activate this master, yeah, master administrator. Yeah, so that's going to cost me four coins. Four coins, and it allows you to repeat the action of the inner ring, which is spend four, four clay. clay to build another warrior. Uh, wow. Yeah. Um, so hang on a second, I nearly forgot to do the thing again. So one of them goes up here. Yeah. And three of them, only three. Of them. You did say it was going to be expensive. Go in here. Yeah, I know. Eight clay and four coins. Yeah. And I'm still not done. Uh, to put a another guard oh. in here. So that's another five points, which I will add on. And then... And then... Oh, that area's full. Um, and then I'm going to flip the halberd. And pay one coin to put a footman out. Okay, so the footman, we haven't covered this yet, but you'll see from the base, it's got arrows pointing in all eight directions around it. Uh, the footman is going to score at the end of the game. So at the end of the game, you basically work out who has, whoever's got the most number of pieces around it, get the dominance, uh, and everybody else has presence. And the footman scoring is printed uh, here. So, um, eight points for whoever's got the, the most, whoever's got dominance surrounding it, and two points for everybody with presence. Now, is that, can you get that if you're the only one there? Is that yes. like the inspectors? It's like the inspectors, yes. Okay. So that makes me slightly happier putting this here, just in case no one comes and joins the party. Just checking um, the end of game scoring. Score each footman based on the number of warriors, regardless of type, occupying the eight spaces. Yeah, domination, eight points, kneeling archers, break ties. Okay. So that cost me, I think, five coins, eight clay, and a halberd. <laughs> nice. Um, Big turn. So, yeah, hope, well, yeah. hopefully it's done some good. Okay. Adam's go. 
Yeah, sure. I will. Because this turn change a lot of things on the board, so. Yeah. Uh, I have to reconsider part of my plans. Uh... What am I doing for money? Oh, I've got lots of money. I don't think I took I, I paid. I don't think I took my points. I did. Your points. I, the guards. You did yep. the points. I, I did your points. Yeah, you. you got five for both of them. Brilliant. And it's also interesting because there's okay. been a, a flurry of purchases of guards in this game for obvious reasons. Whereas in the game we played on Tuesday, we were kind of taking them at roughly the same rate. Mm. But yeah, I will go there. Uh, yeah, and uh, I will, uh, you know what, I will put it here, it will okay. be easier. I will uh, pay three, so one, two and three, but I keep... You'll get the two clay back. Yeah. And the two, and what I'm, what I want to build... Uh, it will be probably it goes here or no, it will go there. And it will be I will use spear to do that. Mm -hmm. So it it's will be soldier. soldier. I will it's do your points. Six plus one. There you go. And I will go Two, two coins, coins uh, also. Uh, I take the clay and I will and refresh the spear, the spear. Yeah. Okay, so I'm doing all right for money. I've got five clay, so I can build anything. Uh, so, yeah, let's let's do that. Let's go here. Uh, let's spend two of that clay to build a warrior. Now, looking at the situation there, that board's full. So, eh, yeah. It's tricky, isn't it? Um, let's build a guard. Where are we going to build the guard? That is the question. Let's build the guard there. So that gets me five points. I will spend a halberd for another three points. One, two, three. But again, not sure I want to use the ability because I don't want to leave this area. So at the moment, in terms of this end of round scoring, both yellow and purple have both got three but they both break ties. So it's back to an unbreak, it's back to a, a tie again. Yeah. So neither of us are getting... Yeah. Uh, so essentially I just, I cost you five, I don't actually gain myself anything. Yeah, But thanks for that. Um, <laughs> well, I wanted the guards down for the later scoring. Yeah. So it felt like I might as well put them there and hurt you as well. Yeah, yeah, makes sense. Um, I don't think I'm going to put that guard there. I think I'm going to put it. Oh. I think I might put it here. No, let's put it here. Oh, it's tricky. And I'm not generally good mm -hmm. at these spatial sort of puzzle games. So I'm going to put it there. Final decision. Um, well, was it? that was that was this one. But now we've got uh, we've got this master here. So I'm going to spend. One, two, three coins to put this one here, and then I'm going to move this to here. Sure. 
and then I've got a crossbow which I can't get because yeah I've already got one right, that's my go done why didn't I build a crossbowman can I change my mind on that it won't be a guard it will be a crossbowman instead so uh, I get one extra point but, yeah, but I then don't get the three. three less. And I flip the crossbow over and then I get it back. Now, the crossbowman, we've not seen a crossbowman being built yet. So what happens yeah. is as soon as you build the crossbowman, if you give him a crossbow, uh, he shoots somebody. And you get points based on the distance between him and the nearest piece. Unfortunately, the crossbowman is right next to this one. So I don't get any points for that. Um, but if this piece wasn't here then this crossbowman would have shot in this direction. You would have got points for the empty spaces. But that's fine. That's my go down. Uh, no, you can shoot here. Remember, I thought you had to shoot the nearest one. Any statue, any statue. Not oh, the right. warrior, any statue. So it will give you two points. Okay, I do get the two points then. Okay, thank you very much. Yeah, for some reason I thought you had to shoot the nearest one. Yeah, I checked this in the uh, rule book once more, but it's it's how it should be done. So yeah, any statue. Right. Yeah, score one point for each empty space between this warrior and any other statue in the same row or column. Right, okay, so I can choose. Excellent. Yes. Fantastic, thank you. I am going to pay two coins. Rotate the inner circle. And go over here, pay four, put one on here. I am going to build. Now, there's no point building that. I could build that there. And he would allow me to do something. Yeah, I could do that, move that there. So, where do I want him? I want him blue to do. Uh, should at least become part of that group here. Unless I want to build one of those. Mm. Give me another two points. So from reading the rules and watching the video the other day, my two things that I thought were weapons seem important, so mm -hmm. I'm definitely, definitely going to do the Master Blacksmith. This was my coming into the game, my plan. Yeah, this was your overall general strategy, yeah. Because it just seems, you know, like it's it, weapons are good. Yeah. And uh, it seemed artisans are good. Yeah. So I'll definitely get definitely an artisan. Definitely get some of those, yeah. Yeah. So, so how many artisans have you got? Uh, none. And do you, have you got the Master Blacksmith? No, I've, I've got four Masters, <laughs> and that's one of the two that I haven't <laughs> taken. That just so shows you, though, that you can go into the game swimmingly. with an idea... <laughs> But then, I, based on the actions yeah. of the other players, it's just like, oh, I'll do something else instead. Yeah. Three, and I'm gonna move. Meanwhile, what's Scott doing? Oh, he's getting in on this guard group. Guy. I am, yeah. And I figured I should have at least one guard on the board right. <laughs> for the final round. Yeah, okay, um, so I you've used the guard's ability to help. actually move one of your other warriors. Yep. Right. Okay. Right, so that was my build done. I now have the uh, master, which I don't have. Do I have enough coins? I do. Is it worth spending the coins for three clay? Is it worth I'm four not... coins for three clay? Yeah, I'm not going to spend. Okay. Because I've got and plenty then... of clay. Yeah. I will just get, get a coin. Sword. Right, yeah, back to okay. James for your last action of round three. Yeah. Um, as we were just mentioning, my lack of weapons 
is becoming an issue. Um, so I could get a load of coins and some clay, which is going to go dry. I'm not going to be able to get a specialist, whatever I do. I don't want to wet the clay. I've, got, I've only got one coin, so I can't spin the rings. Ooh. Um. Hmm. Okay. Um. Yeah. No. No. Five coins or four coins and two clay, which are going to go dry. But I'm going to have dry clay anyway, so I'm going to have to wet it anyway. So I think two clay better than one coin, maybe. Okay. So four. No, coins. I'm going to go the way. No. Sorry, last minute change. I'm going to take five, five coins. coins. And are you building a specialist? Uh, I have no weapons. Okay. You're done, Adam. Okay, uh, so in that case, it will be, I think, easy. Yeah, I will spend two clay. Yeah. One goes here, one goes out, and I will build guy here. It will be guard also. Mm -hmm. Uh, with a halberd, so okay, it's so seven. I'll do seven points. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And Are you moving any of your pieces? Yes, I will be moving. Uh, I'm just oh, let's go here. And I get to play back because of the next action. And I also can build a specialist. I can build a musician and... Three coins and in a spear. Quite good. And no, I don't want to build it. It's okay. okay. Right, it's my last action of this round. And it's an artisan, so I can... And I could even use my artisan on the same space that I'm already on. Yeah. Um, that is allowed. <sighs> kind of wanted to build another thing on the board. And... What thing do I want to build? I've got all of the weapons available to me. Um, how much clay do I have? I have three clay. So that's an option. How much money do I have? I have three money and it's round three. Ooh. So I could totally do that. Yeah, I'm going to do it. So I'm going to go here. First of all, I'm going to spend three clay. One of which goes there, two of which gets spent. Um, and believe it or not, it's going to be another guard. <laughs> so where are we going to place this? Um, do we want it part of this big group? Because this big group's nice. This big group is, we're all in it. So it's basically worth four points. Um, yeah. So yeah, why, why not? I'll go there. So it's four points for the guard, but I built a halberd. So it's actually seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I can move one of my other pieces as far as I want in any direction, which I choose not to do. Um, then we activate the master builder. I'm already there, so I just need to spend three coins, which I have. One, two, three. Um, and this has to be an officer. Yeah. And I don't get any points and I don't get any, any of that bonuses for it now. Where do we want to put this? I think I want to put it here. Oh, but then... Oh. Oh. Ah. No, I'm going to put it there. Yeah. So that's the officer built. And then I get me halberd back. Done. 
Scott, last turn for round three. Yeah. You're not... Um, okay. So, I need to build... That means rotating the ring, I think. Phase. Oh, no, I can build there. What's the cost there? That's four. Uh, if I do... Yeah, no, that doesn't work. That's... Is that one which I don't have? No point doing that. I play that one there, get that, do that. That's the way to do it. Right. So, oh, actually, am I going to have enough? Uh, what have I got? I'm not going to have enough for that. I just ignore that then. So, two coins. Rotate the inner ring again. Go here. And four clay to build. building cost me four, but I'm getting two back, so I yeah. will just spend the two. One there. One back to the bag. I will do a. Let's see where do I want to put him? If I put him, put him there, and do that. Yeah. Right in the middle. Okay. Officer there. So six points for building the officer. Are Thank you giving you. the officer a sword? I am, yeah. Okay, so that's an extra one point, and you can move one of the inspectors forwards or backwards by one space. That one back one. Okay. Yeah. Um, and then specialist. Yeah, I can't afford to build specialists, so okay. I'm done. Right, so end of round scoring. It is this quadrant uh, here. So, okay. as we discussed... James as yellow has got three with a kneeling archer for the tie break. I've also got three with a kneeling archer for the tie break. So basically nobody has dominance. So everybody who has presence in there will get the four points. So it's everybody except Scott. And that's the scoring tile done. Next, let's do inspectors. So this inspector is going to score. Um, it's a tie between purple and blue. So we get three points each. One, two, three. And then that inspector moves on. And then this inspector, blue's got dominance. So blue gets seven points, uh, with green getting three points. And that yes. inspector moves on. Then we have musicians. So we have this musician here, which is two points to blue and two points to green. Mm -hmm. And then we have this musician which is uh, four points to green. Five, because the horse. Oh, five, because the horse. Five points to green. Um, two to yellow. And one, two, three to purple. Okay, that's the musician scoring. That's the inspector scoring. That's it. That's it for the scoring phase. So, uh, clean up. The gears rotate. We've already moved the inspectors. Workers come home. Uh, right. So clay. All of your wet clay goes dry except for here and you get income for your masters on the left side. And then we move on to round four. Turn order. I took the number one turn order token, so I become the new first player. And that's going to go back. And the scoring tile for this round is number of coins. Right. James has got loads of money. <laughs> mm -hmm. I've only got two because I spent it. I spent it too quick. And I don't have any clay. So I think I might be getting clay as a first action. 
Um, how many masters have I got on board? Oh, my next master is going to get me four. Hmm. Okay, well, I'm, I'm going to have to do it. I'm going to have to go here. I'll take the four clay. I'm going to forego that action and just take another clay. So I get five clay. Five. And then, do I want to build a specialist? Um, well, that's interesting, actually. I think I do. So I'm going to spend my halberd and two coins to place another footman here. Yeah, I think that's a good place for a footman. So that's my first turn done. Except I've got no money now. Uh, who's next? James is next. We might be on mute again. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, um, it's all right. <laughs> I um, I only just realised that there's. I thought you only had four, four master tokens, but I, I only re just realised I still six. can. I can. I can continue to pay ever more money. Yes. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, you can have one master in each of the, the master places. Yeah, given the um, what we're scoring for this turn, I'm not convinced that's money. the best strategy. Um, and there is points at the end of the game as well for leftover clay and coins. It's like um, every two is worth one point. Yeah. I suspect that's uh, not going to make that much of a difference. Mm. Yeah, I think I need more help than that. Um Not very exciting. Uh, another three coins. Three coins, two clay, and a crossbow. And then you're done. And that's me done. Adam's next. Mm, okay. So, in that case, I will go here. And I will pay two clay to build. Uh, I will get the clay back, so I just put one there. I will be building uh... Is it gonna be another guard? Here yeah it will be. Yeah. I will do your points. What is it? We're down to three now. One, and two, I take two clay and I uh, flip the sword. Okay, let's go. Yeah, this is a ginormous group of guards here. Oh, pay two coins. That's true. Rotate the inner ring. Go here. Wet. Wet all of your clay. All my clay. Get the two coins back. And I could build a specialist. Uh, let's see. I have a crossbow, and so I could. Uh, you're needing archer. Where would I put him? And it means. Spending four coins, is it worth it? Might be. Potentially get that again. Yeah, I'm going to spend four coins. Flip the crossbow over. Take that. Ooh. Okay. Damn you. There. <laughs> yeah. Nice one. Okay, done. Right, back to me. 
Uh, got five clay. I think I knew what I wanted to do. Mm. I thought I knew what I wanted to do. Yeah, I think it's going to be... So let's just check the guard situation here. I'm assuming Adam's got the most. He's got one, two, three, four. Adam's got four guards. Yeah, I've, I've got, got three. Two. James, you've got three. So James, if you build the last guard, you actually yeah. win on tiebreak because of the no. healing archer. No, because he's oh, got no, he's got an healing archer as well. Right. Okay. Yeah, I was going to build the last guard and the healing archer in my next turn. Uh, was the plan? Yeah. Um, but but that healing archer has got other ideas. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to use my artisan. I'm going to go here. I'm going to spend three clay, one of which goes there. The other two get spent, uh, and I'm going to build a crossbowman. And uh, there kind of secures me on the footman, but doesn't score me any immediate points. It's also not really in a group. Um, yeah, it's tricky, isn't it? Yeah, we'll go there. We'll build a crossbowman there. So crossbowman gets me six points. Uh, 53 to 59. Uh, I gave him a crossbow. Actually, there's no point giving him a crossbow because he doesn't yeah. have to shoot in anybody. So, oh, do we want it? Okay, I'll put him there instead, and then he does get a point for shooting somebody. <laughs> sure. Um, and then I get two clay back, and then I get my crossbow back. So I spend the crossbow, but then I get it back, and I get two clay. Done. Mm. So we've got a group of crossbowmen here. Right, okay. Yeah. yeah, there's only two of us in it, though, so they're not the highest scoring. No, they're um, two points each. And neither, yeah. and both, yeah, neither of us have domination. Yeah. It's not... Great, but... Um, but at this point, what is great? Um... It's tricky, isn't it? Because well, there's only one guard left, but the, the points for the guards have pretty much been decided. Yeah. Or have they definitely been decided? I think they have, haven't they? I don't think anything can um, change that. What's the scoring for Footman at the end? How many points do you get for presence? So, um, Footman, it's eight and two. So, at the moment, this Footman okay. here, uh, yeah, I've got on. domination because I've got three. So, I'm going to get the eight points. Green and yeah. blue have got presents and is going to get two points each. Yeah. Um, what's everyone else's coin situation like? Okay. I can afford to spend some. Um, finally got myself a weapon and it's the one that there's nothing can't, I can't use. <laughs> um... I think I think I go here. Okay, so uh, one clay onto the Wow, that's a big stack of clay. clay there. And one clay back in the bag um, to put out um, the guard. Oh, I've got to put this base down first. And so I think that's the, the best place for it. Yeah. And are you spending and the help? Then, um, I don't think any of my people can move. Okay, but you still get the three points if you spent the halberd. If you that's it. true. And am I likely to place on the footman? I'll, no, I'll take the three points. Okay. Uh, no, I haven't got the halberd. Yeah, man, got. Oh, okay, right. Sorry, <laughs> that's all right. <laughs> Um, and then I um, pay Master Builder. Is it four coins now? 
for your so next. Four. It's round four, right? Yeah. Yeah. So it's so four, four coins. coins. And it has to be the soldier. And it has to be the soldier. Um, I think. The best place for it's going to be there. Sorry. Mm, yeah. And then uh, I only have the bow when there's no kneeling archer, so I can't do the last part. Right. Adam. Okay. Okay. So... go there. I will take four coins. Two clay. And uh, I can build a specialist. You could build a horseman or a okay. musician. Yeah, I will build a horse. Pay two coins. And this will be here. Okay. And that's nice. all. Okay. So you didn't go on the space I wanted, which is good. I go here. I spend my four clay. Don't, don't I get a go first? Uh, that's a good point. <laughs> it only sounded, yeah. okay. Very, very okay. good point. It was so close. There you go. <laughs> Don't go on that space car. <laughs> I I wasn't going to anyway. Okay, that's I'm fine. gonna go there. I'm gonna build a an officer. I'm actually gonna get my base. I've been there. Uh, it's costing me three, and what goes here? And I flip all my weapons back over, and I'm done. Okay, right. So, as we were, I go there, spend one, two, three, four clay to build. Well, it's got to be the crossbowman. Oh, does it have to be the crossbowman? It has to be the crossbowman. Crossbowman there. Not going to give him a crossbow. No point. Uh, but I do get the five points for building him. So 65. Uh, that was that. Then I get uh, two coins and flip my halberd back. That's like one. So, done. James. Okay. So. Do I try and win the coin scoring? Given that Adam's after me. 
and he's got an artisan, so he can very easily pick up at least four coins without too much difficulty. Or do I try and do something more productive? Um, could pick up a truly ridiculous amount of clay. <laughs> Which next round, if you then wet it, you could build whatever two things you want, I guess. But mm. Oh, and also, it's worth half a point each at the end of the game, so... Yeah. There's a lot there, six... There's six so and a load get, of fours. You get ten clay. It's five points. Yeah. Or I can go here and pick up six coins. Mm. Um, but I think given that we are only got one round left, that would put me on 15 coins, and then I got three in income. I don't think I need 18 coins for my last three actions. No, but again, 18 um, coins is... Points at the nine nine points at the end of the game. That's true. Yeah, I think I seem to be on a kind of just collect resources as a strategy, which is yeah. understandably not giving fantastic returns. You get three coins uh, for that. You then use that master like, to repeat get it. Another. Get another three coins, and then do you want to build a specialist? Uh, I only have a. You've uh, only got a crossbow, and all of the footmen have gone. Oh, sorry, all of the. Kneeling arches are yeah. gone. Yeah. Right, yeah. Adam, your last action of round four. Yeah. Uh, I think I will not do this. Okay, uh, sorry, not that direction. I move the middle ring. Yep. So I pay two coin. And uh, I go there. Okay. So I take four coins. Four but, coins. Yeah, I will take only uh, one. I flip all of my weapon. And I take only one because I want to build specialist and it will be three coins and one sword. And yeah, it will be. Get that yeah, card in the group. It, it will be crazy group, but yeah. Oh wow, yeah, because that guard is now part of the yeah. <laughs> this huge group. In fact, all of the guards are yeah. all in the, in a group together. Wow. Yeah. Nice. Okay, Scott, so last it. action of round four. Yeah, and this time Adam messed up my turn. <laughs> Basically, whoever is going before you. Hmm. I tell you what, going last is really hard if you if if you don't if you don't have artisans especially. But... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I I was gonna go here, build something, get the first player marker. Mm. Uh, yeah. I still want to build something because building stuff is points. And so do I just go there anyway? I can move one of those, but I don't want to move one of those. So I could just skip that, get a coin. Uh, yeah. Let's do that. So go here. So building. Yeah. Uh, geez, that half. That's that. And the other three go in there. What should I build? build? Uh, I could build. It's Can five points, next? whatever you build. So I'll add your five points on. Yeah. Uh, remind myself of what the abilities are. That's a victory point of two coins. That shoots something. Or I just make that group a bit better. And oh, I could move that back. Mm -hmm. That works. Yeah. Officer time. Officer time. In there. And also, that links up this officer now as part of that group. Yeah. That's and really I will flip a sword to get an extra point and move him I back. I will do your point. There. And you move the inspector Thank back you. to there. Yeah. Flip the sword. 
done. Action finished. Yep. Right. Okay. So end of round scoring. Who's got the most coins? That would be James. Pretty sure that's me. <laughs> so yeah. eleven points for yellow, and everybody else gets five. All right. Let's do inspectors. So in this no, line, right. uh, yellow has dominance. Yeah, so yellow has seven, dominance. Right? So yellow gets seven, and purple and blue both have three. And then the inspector moves all the way back to start. And then in this line, blue's got dominance and green has presence. So blue gets seven, green gets three. And that inspector moves on. Right, musicians. So we've got this musician here. So it's one, two, three, four, five for green. Um, none for blue. And one, two for yellow, and three for purple. Okay, and then there's another musician, isn't there? This one. Yeah, so that's getting one, two, three for green. Um, it's getting two for blue. Three for blue. Sorry, three for blue, and two for yellow. Yep. None for purple. Right, so that's the musicians scored. So musicians scored, inspectors have scored, that's been scored. I think that's it. That's it for the scoring. So clean up. We'll rotate that. We'll rotate that. Workers come back. And clay dries. And then money. I get an extra two money. And we move on to the final round of the game. And yeah, the scoring tile for this round is decided. There's nothing we can do about that. So it's purely positioning of uh, warriors in here for end of game scoring, which is looking quite interesting. So are we all ready to start the final round? Me first. Don't have any clay. Need to get some clay if I'm going to be building some warriors. So we will go here. I will take four clay. One, two, three, four. I think it's two coins. Yeah, four clay, two coins, and a specialist. Now, I could build any specialist I want to. Uh, so I'll probably do. Let's build an officer. No, yeah, no, hang on, I'm a specialist of these. Um, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so I quite like these kneeling warriors. So let's build another one. So it's three coins and a halberd for, an, for another footman. Yeah, not a kneeling warrior, sorry, a footman. Um, it's going to go there because that guarantees me to have dominance over that yep. one. Right, I'm done. James is next. Okay. Um, so, I think I want to take use that master. Take a ridiculous amount of play. Somebody will. That one. So I'm going to turn the inner wheel for two coins because mm -hmm. at this point, coins. Well, fairly plentiful. Um, and place this guy here. Now, am yeah. I right in saying you can't turn both wheels? It's not Correct. for this turn, but for later. You can turns. turn one wheel, once, okay. one slot. Yeah, okay. So three coins, um, a ridiculous amount of clay. Yeah. No. <laughs> so Nice. Also, the second three coins. Stack. They're this all is four, five. Right? No, this oh, one's five. five. So okay, I great. Yeah, thank you. The... Uh, and uh, a sword. And a sword. Yep. Okay. So well yeah, done. there we go. Mm, okay. So. Four, 
far and nice. You're right there, James, with your big stack of clay. 14 dry clay and I think <laughs> 18 coins. Wow. I mean, I yeah, think... that's uh, that's 16 bonus points at the end of the game if you've still got it all. Mm, yeah. That's a lot. I'm not, I'm not, not convinced it's a viable strategy, <laughs> but <laughs> we'll see. I turn this wheel for two coins. And uh, I go there. So I build a warrior for two clay. Uh, yeah, I've spotted. That's what Adam's it, doing a lot. You're always building for two clay. Yeah. Yeah, because I have two guys here, yeah. and it lets me build first until somebody do the same. Uh, so I will the guy. Here, and it will be soldier. So five points. So uh, six because I use spear. You're going to use the spear. I, yeah, I will get two coins back. Two coins back. And after that, specialist, of course, yes, four coins, and halbard, make this guy here. Yeah. Nice. Okay, let's go. Yeah. Uh, I badly need clay. Which means that gets me four. Well, it's not a great turn, but it gets me clay, which is useful. One, two, three, four. Flip over my sword and done. Right, okay. So I want to build. Uh, this is probably my last build of the game. Mm. Maybe it is, maybe it isn't. How are we doing for masters? I can't place another master. I could activate one of my existing masters. Which could be that one. But that's in the wrong position. So, no, no, it's not. Yeah, let's do that. So I'm going to spend my four clay. To build. And have I got, what weapons have I got? I've got everything except a halberd. So that's, that's fine. That's absolutely fine. Does let's a weapon build. at the end of the game count as a resource? No. No. I will build an officer. Now this officer is not in any group, but it does get me does get me that. Does get me presence around that footman. So uh build the officer. I'm gonna give the officer a sword, make him happy. So I got five points for the officer Oops. and an extra one for giving him a sword. Eight two, and I can move one of these inspectors one space backwards or forwards. I will move that one forwards. Right, that's my building. I'm then going to activate this one here, and I can move one of the officers one or two spaces forwards. Uh, didn't think about that, did I? Let's move that one. And Great, I support you. Yeah. <laughs> Bottom space is um, specialist, and I could do it. I could absolutely do it. So I think I think I will. Um, I'll spend three coins and a spear to build a musician, and I'm going to build it here. Right, done. Epic turn. Okay. Won't be doing very much for my last action. Yeah, I'm not sure what I'm going to get achieved in the rest of this. Um, Take resources. Kind of, well, <laughs> stick with the plan. I'm, well, because obviously my plan was to wet all the clay 
Uh-huh. And then build as much as I can, preferably using my double up the inner yeah. ring thing. But I don't see that I'm going to get... Like, if I put an officer in here, I think yeah. I'm basically scoring everyone else more points than I score me. Uh, you're definitely yes. scoring Scott more points than you. Yeah. Yeah. Um, um, I mean, I suppose building something down here would give me presence on that footman. It would give you two. And if you if it was a crossbowman, then... It would give me another two. And a point from the musician. And a point from the musician. Yeah, and you'd be denying me dominance of that group of crossbowmen as well. So a crossbowman there is, is yeah. a good move. Uh, I'm not, yeah, it's, the thing is, it's not going to be this turn. Oh, right. Um, okay. Is the issue. Um, <laughs> and I'm going to end up spending an awful lot of my resources, which are very dear to me. Um... <laughs> Okay. Uh, I'll do it. I'll do it because collecting resources isn't the most fun thing in the world. So, two uh, coins so I've rotated. spun that for two coins and um, putting a guy there. So there's. And then you're going to wet all of one, your clay and get an two. extra two clay. And flip all of that. Yeah. And then. An extra two. Right. Get two and clay. And then. Do you want to build a special? I've got a sword. So you can build a horsey horsey? I can build a horsey horsey. And I th think it might be worth it. Okay. Because, uh, yeah, so what is it? Four coins. Uh, yeah. One, two, it's one, two three. three. Four coins and a sword. Four coins and flip the sword. And it goes... Oh, oh, almost. Not there. Oh. There it is. There. And then that goes on there. Okay. Yeah. I Done. think that's, that's that. Right. Adam, your penultimate turn. Uh, no, the turn will be fast because I have no clay and uh, also no gold. <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm in exactly the same position. My last turn will be pretty much nothing. But this is not last for me. This is the no, no. Uh, the good the good thing. Uh, so here is good. Here we are. Okay, let's do something like this. Okay. Uh, I will take uh, one clay because one coin gives me nothing. Yeah, so uh, one clay foregoing the interaction. And three clay. And three clay. Normally. Uh, yep. Yeah. And you get a crossbow. And after that, I have crossbow, so it's, yeah. it's done only yeah. for so clay. My last action of the game is to go here. I get four coins. I then spend those four coins immediately to place this matter on here, I, which allows I me have to go. Oh, have I've done it again? You have, yeah. <laughs> You're getting, getting too excited. Too excited for. I am. <laughs> right. I and I'm probably going to mess up what you want to do because I'm going to spend two coins. Oh yeah, it will. Oh, yeah, I'm going to go. I'm going to do the middle ring this time. Okay. Uh, which we. In that case, Scott, I think you yes, might have so... a double and mess up Paul's and my turns. So, that you went, know. I went the wrong way. There you go. Uh, That's it. Yeah. yeah. Right. And. He goes there. I. Build for two. Right. Uh, probably unsurprisingly, 
it's going to be somewhere in here. See, because I'm going to do that. Now I could put it there. Yes, let's put it there. It's going to be an officer. So that's four points. I will do that. One, two, three, four. I do have a sword, so I'm going to use the sword so to make an extra back, point. An extra point, and then the Loki moves this one on to. I do not approve. Just checking you've realised that officer is not in the group. The musician doesn't join it up. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Okay. Right, so my last action of the game is not going to be that thing. Um, so I think in order for me to get some scoring, I'm going to have to choose that one. Yeah. So I forego the first thing, and I'll have a, a coin instead. Uh, and then I will activate this master here. Now then. Um, I'll move this one too. Sure. That's it. That's my go done. That's my game finished. So James, your last turn. Yep. I think... Um, in the same way that Adam's been doing the build on the two clay to build thing, I've taken it in the other direction. <laughs> um, <laughs> You're building on the four. I'm building four almost eight. almost exclusively on the four clay <laughs> um, because you know <laughs> you it's can. a it's a strategy that you know is unlikely to pay off, but I'm just trying. Yeah, it's it a very good strategy. So that's another um, eight clay. So that's another eight clay wow. for double build. Uh, yeah. yeah, I know. I've got, I've got the clay. I know it's not great. Um, in fact, it probably is going to get me less points than it's costing me. <laughs> eight clay is four <laughs> points, right? Yeah. No, that crossbowman. Uh, oh, oh, I need to put a base. That crossbowman there is going to be four points on his yeah. own. Um, so, you know, that's. Okay, Fine. So two dry clay there. Get rid well, of actually, six. it's five points for building him and a four points in endgame scoring. Yeah. So it's definitely definitely more, yeah worthwhile. And then I th think so. It's interesting. So an officer here will get Scott loads more points. We'll get yeah, you but I'm two, thinking about putting it here. You'll be... Oh, right. Okay, yeah. Because I've already got... The thing is, all it's doing is hurting Adam because he's yeah. got two, He's got dominance on that inspector. But he gets you I was hoping the, the inspector stayed here and I was going to put the thingy here. Yeah. Mm. Um, so that's four points for building and then two points... So that's going to be six points. If I build a soldier, that's five points. And actually, there's, the soldiers are in a group of three different colours. If I put the soldier here, it's next to my horse, right? So it's still... Yep. Yes, part of the group. Um, so I think that's more points. Okay. I think so five. Um, it hurts Adam less, but... Uh, Any so weapons? that's five points. Yeah, you don't did, I, be uh, You did, did, you did the five. five points. I did the five, yeah. yeah. Cool. Thank you. Um, and where was I here? And I don't think I've got any weapons that I can use. Still just that bow. Yeah, okay. You'll go finish. Right, Adam, last turn of the game yeah. for you. Oh, sorry, one question. Yeah. Uh, does yeah. the, for the purposes, of, if, I, if I give the this crossbowman the bow, does the footman count or is it, it counts. The next. Yes. Oh, okay. It counts. Yeah. It is okay. a statue. So. Okay. Okay. So I want to build something uh, for sure, and I will check where can I do that. Uh, let's see. And the last player will be okay. Oh, 
have only one coin. Okay, I think this will be probably the best. Okay. So I pay only one because I will get two because of that action. And I will build uh, a crossbowman here. Mm. And so he five will. Five points for the crossbowman. And then he shoots. shoots. Uh, give me a moment. No, it will be here. It's five plus three, it's eight. Plus another three. One, two, three. Uh, and I use the bow, and this is uh, it because I take the clay. I play. Yeah. Right, Scott, for the last turn of the game. Yeah, and I can't do very much because I've got one coin and two clay. Yeah. And therefore, I'm just going to go for a few points. Yeah. I'll get four coins. I will skip this. I'll take a clay instead. Yeah. And that's it. Okay. Right. So, first of all, we're going to use the scoring token. So, it is purely the number of guards. So, Adam has the most guards. Not uh, so true. Nope. We have the same. Oh, isn't it? I have. I have four as well. Oh, is it four? And, and we both, both got. And we both have an earling archer. Yeah. Ah, I think right. this is the. Fi I've. I've tied so many things. Yeah. I think that's really costing me a lot. Like I haven't quite managed to win anything. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so four guards, with one of them being a super guard, and Adam's also got four guards, one of them being a super guard. Okay, so nobody's got domination. So basically, we all yeah. score six points. As long as we've all got at least one guard, we all score six points. Right, done. Next, we'll do the inspectors. So this inspector here, uh, purple has two, green and blue have one. So I get seven points, green and blue get three. And then this inspector, it is green, green, yellow, blue. So green gets the seven points, yellow and blue get three points. Uh, that's the inspectors done. Then we'll do the musicians. Right, so this musician here is one, two, three, four, five for green. Uh, none for blue and one, two for yellow. Yeah. And three for purple. We get three. One, two, three. Um, there is another musician over here, which is going to get for blue, one, two, three, four for blue. It's going to get one, two, three for green. It's going to get one, two, three for yellow, and none for purple. And then there's a musician down here, which gets. Um, one for green, one for yellow, one for blue, and two for purple. Um, that's it. That's the three musicians. So we've done musicians. So do we take the musicians off at this point? The musicians, I think, can be taken off at this point. Yes. Yeah, there we go. Just tidy them up a bit, get them out of the way. Right. How ingrained is packing away neatly when it's a digital version of the game and we're still putting <laughs> yeah. back on the right squares? Right, okay. So the game is over. We do final scoring. So let me just uh, let me just switch to the rule book just to make sure we get this in the right order. Um, end of game scoring. Yes. So footman. We're going to score Footmans. the footman first. This footman up here, uh, basically Adam has two things surrounding it and I have one. So Adam gets eight, Green gets eight, I get two. That's that footman scored. Again, take them off, put them back on their space. Right, next footman, oh, they're all down here. So we'll do this one. Uh, this is eight for me and two for yellow. And that's that one done. Uh, this one here, I've got four, yellow's got two. Five. So again, that's another eight for me, another two for yellow. And then this one here, I've got four. Everybody else has got one. So that's another eight for me, two for everybody else. Cool. Right, so that's nice. the footmen scored. 
Um, right, now we remove every warrior that is not part of a group. So this officer up here is on his own, so he can go. Um, this officer. That officer there is on his own. He started a trend, but it didn't work. Oh, no, he's not. He's got the kneeling one next to him. Yes. Yeah. So he is a group. Uh, this officer, however, is not a this part of a group, officer. and neither is the soldier. This soldier is. This soldier oh, sorry, is that soldier is, yes. It's just that officer. So that officer's gone. Um, what else have we got? I think that's it. The rest is in groups. Yep. Yeah. Okay, so for every group, let's do the guards first. We're all in the group, so every warrior in that group is worth four points. So basically everybody gets four points for each of their guards that they have in that group. Mm. Okay. And presents. Everyone gets presents as well. Um, yes. And yeah, everybody gets presents because there was no domination, was there? No. Nope. So that's uh, tie exactly the same tie. Another two, yeah. right? So we all get another two. So we get four points per guard and two. we all get an extra two. two. Yeah. So we have 18 with yellow. Right. Yeah. So that's that group done. Now let's do this group of crossbowmen down here. Um, we have one, two, three, four. Yeah, so it's two different people that are in that group. So every yeah. warrior in that group is worth two points. I get six. And then it's tied for domination, I think. There's no tiebreakers, yeah. is there? Yes. There's no tiebreakers. So we get another no, two there each. Is, so exactly. Yeah. Okay, right. And we could be taking these off as well if we wanted to. Um, we've got a group of officers here, which is all of these. There's two people in there, two, two different players in there. So each of these officers is worth two points. So I've got one, which is two. Scott's got one, two, three, four, which is eight. But then Scott gets an extra five for domination of that group. And I get second, I get presence. And then finally, this big group of soldiers here, uh, there's purple, green, and yellow. So every warrior in that group is worth three points. So I get one, two, three. And then dominance is, green's got one, two, three. Shouldn't yep. be enough. Green's got dominance and yellow and purple have presence. So green gets an extra five. Purple gets an extra two. And we have to uh, get five, two VP yeah. for each kneeling each archer. Each kneeling right? archer is worth two. So that one is two to green, that one is two to yellow, that one is two to purple, and that one is two to blue. So everybody we, gets We all got two. one. <laughs> it's all fair. And then finally, total number of leftover clay and coin divided by two. This is, where I, this is where I win it. I've got 100 clay and 300 <laughs> coins. I got, I got one point for my leftover stuff. Uh, and I get 10 points for my 21 leftover stuff. Right. And I think that is it. So yep. congratulations, Adam, with 175. Second place is me with 156. Uh, James, 142. Scott, 122. The points at the end were a lot more spread out than I thought they were going to be. I thought we were all relatively close. But that end game scoring was quite a lot. Uh, it's like, not uh, not even, but it's close to half of the points in the game. It depends right. how many players, but yeah. Mm. Um, Scott, can you remember what the winning score on Tuesday was? I can check. It was know. somewhere over... It? It was somewhere over here, I think. Okay. 195. Okay. Right, 195. So you're looking at yeah, somewhere Tom. almost 200 for a, for a winning score. Yeah. Cool. Right. Well, we're all done. So, yeah, congratulations, Adam. What was the secret to success? Was it getting two <laughs> masters here so that you always yeah. had two wet clay going into a round and you could always build first? It helps, of course, because yeah. I can control the uh, starting position, and uh, yeah, it was uh, it was helping a lot when uh, the guards 
was uh, there was not many guards left, so it mm. was quite important who starts to uh, build uh, uh, leftovers of them. Uh, so this was uh, the first thing, and the second, of course, was uh, uh, the things with the groups. Yeah, the one big things with horses. Yeah. because they are really great and they give me a lot of points not not because of uh, only of uh, the scoring token and the group but also uh because of the inspector yeah. because that's it the horse takes up the three spaces which means they're going to score more often for the inspectors being in the the appropriate column or row yeah but this was uh, truly the Mm, different way I normally play because I mm -hmm. have only two masters and no master with the coins. Uh, right. And that means it uh, it hurts uh, uh, sometimes to uh, don't have a coin to yep. turn the wheel. So yeah. Uh, so this this was a, a little new for me. Yeah. If we talk about strategy. Michael's reminders in the chat that kneeling archers get two points each. Yep, we did that, and we we all had one kneeling archer, so we all got two points. Yeah, there was quite a few times in this game, especially at the end, where certainly the, the guards, James, you managed to tie with Adam for the most number of guards, which not only affected this scoring token, yeah. but it also affected that group because we had yeah. one big group of guards at the end. Yeah. So that took a, that I, took um, a huge amount of points off Adam. Yeah, there was a lot of. Um... A lot of things where I kind of nearly managed to do what I was trying to do, mm -hmm. and ended up tying. Um, so the number of guards, I think the number in this bottom left section, um, I, I, you know, I, I felt like I was the main thing I was doing was taking points off other people right. <laughs> rather than actually earning them myself. <laughs> yeah, um, but I just couldn't quite get there. Um, and then the that that fourth kneeling archer. Uh, because my plan, obviously, was to get the fourth kneeling archer, and I could have put it, I think it was here, yep. to go next to my guard, which would have won me the tiebreaker on the scoring disc, as well as the, the tiebreaker on the group yep. at the end. Um, so there were a number of things where I kind of like nearly, nearly managed to do something and then didn't quite. Uh, but I, lo I like the game. Yeah. I think the... Um, I think the action ring and the the turning action ring is sort of delightfully painful yep <laughs> because it just you you you're in a constant state of oh, i wish i could just oh, someone else better move it right someone else better move it or please don't no move it please don't no move it <laughs> yeah. and and whichever one you want is the opposite to which happens obviously yep. um so, Scott, yeah, how are you no, feeling uh, after a couple of games of it now I really like it. Um, okay. Yeah, I I needed to get in on guards in this area earlier. Yeah. Um, but yeah, the the way the the action rings work and the way it interacts with what you're doing over here, it's really nice. It's, mm. Yeah, it's a great game. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah, yeah. Congratulations on the design and the game. The get although what you're seeing here is obviously we're playing on tabletop simulator. But but the game is the game is finished. Michael did say earlier on the font has changed. So this this uh, this three that the, the three and the five that look a little bit too similar that's been changed. But as far as rules go, it is done, um, and the game is going to be coming out uh, later on this year. But that's it now. We'll uh, we'll wrap things up. Thank you very much to you three for joining me this afternoon. I'm looking forward to getting a physical copy of this game because I think the table presence is going to look very impressive um, when when this game is out. Um, I think Michael was saying in the chat that these miniatures are four and a half centimeters high, so almost almost two inches high. These oh, miniatures, wow. um, but yeah, they're going to look they're going to look really good when they're on the table. Um, but yeah, thank you very much to you three for giving up your afternoon and and playing the game with me. I will thank you. I will speak to you again soon. Thanks, Paul. Cheers. Thanks, thanks everybody for a game. Right. And they're all done. So yeah, thank you very much uh, for watching the video. Please give the video a thumbs up. Leave me a comment if you enjoyed it. Uh, thank you very much to Board and Dice for sponsoring this video and asking me to create it and give me the opportunity to play one of their new games ahead of release. Um, and yeah, and a big thank you to all of my Patreon supporters who fund the channel. If you like the content that I create and you want to support the channel directly, you can do so at patreon.com forward slash gaming rules. But for now, 
I'm going to say goodbye, wrap things up, and uh, I'll see you all next time. Thanks for watching. Cheers, everyone.